What is up my friends? Welcome back to another video. Today we're not going to be talking about video games. We're going to be talking about pizza. That's right. Being uh, Italian, my mother's Italian. Many of you guys know that and have followed the channel for a while. I love pizza and over the years I have perfected through trial and error and through exper experimentation. I've perfected my dough and my baking methods to, to present like this crust that's crispy on the outside, soft and airy on the inside, and I just wanted to share my recipe with you guys today. So yeah, let's get this started. Very simple, very easy to do. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time. And with a little experience, with a little practice, you can whip out uh, some delicious pizza, man, right in your house. Let's start it. All right, so here we go. Pretty simple. You're gonna start off with flour. You need four cups of flour, plus some extra flour for sprinkling. I like to use bread flour. Now bread flour is a little different than all-purpose flour. Bread flour will give you a crispier crust, whereas all-purpose flour will give you more of a, a softer, chewier crust. I prefer the bread flour. So you need four cups of that, throw it in the bowl, a mixing bowl, non-stick. I use this Teflon pan, you know, pot, and uh, the dough doesn't stick to it. It's really, it's really good. Now, the next ingredient you're going to need, I mean, these are simple ingredients. Yeast. You're going to need two tablespoons of yeast. Now, you're going to throw that in, into water. The water is going to dissolve in some water. And I have the water right here. You need two cups of water. Now, the water has to be warm. So what you do is you get some ta cold tap water from your faucet because you don't want to use, you don't want to drink heated, heated water. Some cold tap water, throw it in your microwave for like a minute and it'll be, it'll be warm enough. You don't want it like piping hot. You just want it warm. You throw the yeast in there. Then you'll take four teaspoons of olive oil Throw that in there, along with one teaspoon of sugar. All right, so you mix it all up in there really well. The yeast is dissolved, and you dump it in the pot. And you start mixing the flour and the water. Yes, yes, yes. The magic is beginning. You can make pizza. You can do it. And you'll thank me later. This is kick-ass pizza. This pizza rivals some local pizzerias. I don't know how good the pizza is in your neighborhoods, but my pizza is as good as the local pizzerias, in my opinion. I don't know. I'm not tooting my own horn or anything. I'm just saying. And also, when you're making pizza on your own, you're using less ingredients, you know, um, less salt, less fats. I mean, it's, it's a healthier pizza. So yeah, you roll up the dough, mix it up nice. So cover it up, throw it in your oven, non-heated of course, let it sit there for a couple hours, and uh, about an hour and a half to two hours later, voila! The dough has rised, as you can see. It's probably like five times the size. It's airy, it's soft. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate this from the pot and throw it down on my cutting board or, you know, wherever you want to prep your, your food at. Throw some flour on your hands. It'll help with the dough not sticking to your hands. You can, and you also want to sprinkle some flour on top of the dough. Now, what I like to do as you can see here, I'll spread this out to like a giant, you know, cake size friggin, I don't know what you want to call it. Spread it out, and what I do is I cut them into sections. So you cut this piece into 12 individual pieces, and you roll them up into little balls, and each ball will make you about a 10-inch sized personal pizza. You can wrap these little dough balls in wax paper or parchment paper 
and then throw them in a Ziploc bag and you have individually wrapped you know, personal pizzas. And you can um, divvy these out throughout the week. You can leave them in the fridge for, you know, I, I leave them up to maybe a you know, week and a half, two weeks. I don't know. It doesn't, I, don't, I eat them quickly. I don't know how long you can leave them in, in the fridge. But I, I would say you, leave them up, you can leave them in there for like, you know, a, at least a week or so. And you have pizza quickly and easy. Now, you can use a rolling pin. But I just, you know, press it out with my fingers. Shape the pizza. Just like you see here. And you have like a nice rectangular pizza, about 10 inches long. Now, while this is going on, you want to heat up your oven to at least, you know, 450 to 500. I heat up my oven to about 500. And I use an iron skillet. I preheat the iron skillet in the oven as the oven's warming up. You want that skillet nice and hot. I recommend iron. If you don't have iron, I can't guarantee the same crust results. But use whatever you got, obviously, you know, a metal pan. But um, I like iron. There's no substitute, man. Iron skillets are the best. Iron pans for making pizza, as far as home method, is the, the greatest, man. So, all right, so put your pizza on the iron skillet. Once it's warmed, like I said, about 500 degrees, and you're gonna put that pizza in the oven for about three minutes. Three minutes later, here you, here you see it, three minutes later, the dough is, is soft on the top and crispy on the bottom and a little airy in texture. So you flatten down the airy crust on top. Now you wanna add your sauce. So, I mean, making a homemade sauce is a, is a separate video, but I recommend the best sauce that you can find in the supermarket is the brand called Rouse. Now this is the my favorite, uh, Rouse is my favorite jarred sauce. By far, it's the best. It's also, you know, it's probably like two to three times the price of the, the competitors like Ragu or Prego. Rouse is the best and you, you're gonna get what you pay for it. I recommend this for my pizza. Throw that on there. You wanna put a thin layer of sauce on the crust, not too thick. You don't want to weigh the crust down. It, it will become saturated or soggy. Now you want to throw some cheese on there. Throw some Parmesan cheese on there. Whatever herbs and spices you like. Um, I throw some Parmesan cheese on, on there. You can throw some oregano. A little bit of black pepper. If you're going to throw spices on there and stuff, throw it on before you put the cheese on top. So, yeah, season the sauce. You can even dabble a little bit of olive oil in there. I love extra olive oil. Yeah, so you throw in your, your ingredients. Then you throw on your cheese. The best type of cheese is from the block, you know, cutting it from the block, but for convenience, you can buy, you know, part skim shredded cheese. For the convenience of this video, we're using the shredded cheese. I'm gonna throw that on there, and I'm gonna also sprinkle in like 25% of sharp cheddar cheese. So this is like a three cheese pizza. You got some Parmesan, some mozzarella, and some sharp cheddar. Like I said, um, like 20, 20%, you know, three parts mozzarella, one part cheddar. You don't want to over, overtake the pizza with the sharp cheddar, you know, flavor. And there you have it, man. You're ready to throw it in the oven. Throw it in the oven to about, you know, your preference. I like it well done. Seven to ten minutes and you are gold. You have a delicious, crispy, flaky pizza packed with delicious flavor man and you can thank me let me know in the comment section if you guys ever try this recipe out i hope you try it out the way i i mentioned it you know um the iron skillet is also key Pre preheating that, that skillet is key um it is delicious you cut it up the any way you like it you can just eat it just like that if you want it's so crispy that you can just hold it and it, it won't fall apart it's not flimsy it holds its shape but, you know, I like to cut it into little pieces, whatever. What have you. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little cooking video. If you like this type of stuff, you know, I can do more. I have some more little uh, home secrets, that, you know, little tricks and, and uh, tricks. I'm a jack of all trades, but like a master of none. <laughs> but yeah, I like to cook as well as, as play video games. Who You know, I'm, I'm Italian. So yeah, I like to cook. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more recipes in the future, let me know. And um, maybe I can, I can squeeze them in there.
yeah. So anyway, thank you all for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you again real soon. Talk to you later, everyone. Peace.